Hello, my Pisces loves. Happy birthday, sugars. I sure hope it's going to be the best year yet for you and you get all your wishes and dreams coming true, okay? Um, so I'm Lily. Welcome to my new channel. Everything you need to know about me will be in the description box below on YouTube. And let's dive right on in, sugars. So tap your intuitive messages. Tapping into your energy is absolutely incredible. I don't know it's because it's your birthday month or you're just getting a lot of good news but it's fabulous and it makes me so excited for you guys I feel like um uh, the divine feminine and the divine masculine energy within yourself is balancing out um, I don't know what's causing that, but I also see if you're not already connected to you, your counterpart, they're coming in. You guys are coming together, okay? This is your year. So um, I get this strong feeling like you guys work together or you will be in the future working on building an empire. It's just stunning energy. Um... I'm getting this energy around something happened in January. Uh, maybe you guys planned a, to meet up. My nose is starting to itch like crazy, you guys. My eyes are dripping from allergies, so if I fidget with that, that's why. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> uh, so anyways, um, I feel like something around January. I don't know if your person is an Aquarius or a Capricorn energy, um, or maybe you have that in your chart, but there's this energy around wanting to meet up, but there's planning involved in that, uh, planning to call or text or something like that tied to January. Um, maybe they're planning a surprise trip for you. Now, you guys have a lot of trip energy around you as well, and um, I have a ton of Pisces in my life, and my number one Pisces is my mom. And uh, I tell you what, she's been traveling the world. <laughs> that lucky duck. So uh, maybe that's your energy too, or it's it's coming your way. I get this golden opportunity is headed your way, like the Ace of Pentacles. And I got that for Leos and Libras. So that could be significant. But I feel like there's this amazing promotion headed your way or a new job opportunity or venture or project. Um, I feel like it's tied to travel in some way. I also see you guys getting new cars, um, maybe even a work car as a promotion. Um, but there's also this energy and there's no judgment triggers, but there could be some of you dealing with your boss or maybe you're the boss dealing with an employee. Um, that kind of energy. One of you could be connected in a different relationship. And if it hasn't ended already, I see that ending so you guys could be together, okay? Now, that's not obviously for everyone. Take whatever resonates and leave the rest for other people, guys. Um, always do that, so... Yeah, it's just fabulous energy. I was picking up on, like I said, Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. I got all the water signs, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, and Aries, okay? Lots of signs are coming through, and those could be significant months, okay, for you as well. I did get a lot of initials as well. So let me tap into that, my loves. Um, I'm getting, uh, I almost said F. Yes, F is one of them. P H B T M D E. I already said F, S and C. First, middle, last initial. That could be you, them, the person's coming in your life if you haven't met your counterpart. Let's dive into the cards. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, intimacy at the bottom of the deck. Love that passion coming into union. Exactly, chemistry. And for some of you, this says missing you. So it could be reconnecting, okay? So spirit guides, angels, and universe, what is coming into my beautiful Pisces life? What's going on here? Lots of gorgeous energy, but what do they need to be aware of for March? Um... And I just heard when I said lots of gorgeous energy, I heard future pop up. So it may not happen in March, okay? 
What's going on for March? What do they need to be aware of? My Pisces for their birthday month. I felt like something flipped, but maybe not. Okay, high value Empress, Emperor energy, exactly. The Empress this says, <laughs> You guys, come on. Beautiful, sexy, abundant, and confident. Okay, so you could be the um, empress, um, or that could be the person that's coming into your life. Very much high value people, you guys are. Empress, empress vibes, right? Divine union coming in. You're beautiful, sexy, abundant, and confident. Okay, tell me more spirit for Pisces. Sorry, this is just dripping like crazy. Allergy season is here, guys. That means spring's on its way. <laughs> okay, what do we got? We got call, hearing from them at the bottom of the deck, and love, strong affection. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What's going on for Pisces? Please, Spirit, what do they need to see? I hope that dang player card doesn't come out. It's come out for every single sign. <laughs> I don't know who that person is. Okay, change, transition, yeah. There is massive change on the horizon, okay? And remember how I said somebody's ending a situation, that scorpionic energy of death? Uh, that is transformation, that's change, okay? Somebody could have been going through a very dark period of their life and look at the sun is coming up, okay? It's pushing all that darkness away. Massive changes are on the horizon, triggers for you. Good changes, right? Okay, beautiful. Yeah, I feel like after a storm, uh, there's been a lot of turmoil, right? Uh, tell me what's going on. Tell me what's going on for my beautiful Pisces, please. Oh, oh my gondola. S-E-X, good time. Aquarius had this. You have to watch their reading because Aquarius is here so strongly in her reading. Uh, that could be your moon arising or... Um, the person that's coming in, okay? Okay, so where are we going here? Keep going. <laughs> Can you see the cards? Yes, perfect. Okay, tell me more for Pisces. What's going on here for Pisces? Oh my gosh, I see good things. Lots of passion in your future. <laughs> Lots of wow, chicka, wow, wow. Dating, meeting some, someone new, okay? So some of you are dating and you're gonna meet the um, your counterpart. That came out for Aquarius too. You just have to watch the reading, okay? It's totally worth it. <laughs> new love, uh, renewed hope at the bottom of the deck. What else do we have for Pisces? What else do we have? I just saw in my mind's eye the five of pentacles, okay? So that's Taurus energy. That's leaving something out in the cold, someone or something. Maybe the struggle was financial struggles. That's going away. Or it could be a person. Maybe you're moving on from someone. Um, yes. Okay. Tell me. Take what resonates. What else for Pisces, please, Spirit? What else do we have for Pisces? Oops. Oh, we, it went back in. That was that storm. You're moving away from the storm. What else do we have for Pisces, please? For Pisces. Single, not in a relationship, okay? So, remember how I said somebody's getting single so they can come towards you. You may be single right now as well, but you're going to meet your person. You're going to meet your divine counterpart. Ah! Okay, tell me more. We got the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy at the bottom of the deck. Financial stability, stability in all areas of life, love, uh, combining homes, you know. Having it all, if you want a family, it's here, right? If you're still in that stage of life. Tell me about this amazing change and transition for Pisces, please. What, what's this about for my beautiful Pisces? Knight of Coins. This is that offer that's coming in. Take it, okay? I'm being told to tell you to take it. I don't typically tell people what to do, but this is going to bring you to your person. Like I said, they can work with you or future be the person that you're supposed to meet through a work environment. Work is coming through very, very strongly. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, perhaps. This could just represent an offer that's coming in, and we will clarify each of these areas. But that's the massive change that is coming, okay? Sorry, loves, interrupted by a call, but High Priestess is at the bottom of the deck. Trust your intuition, okay? That will guide you in the right direction. Pisces, Cancer, Virgo energy here, okay? You're very wise. And you're also very intuitive, sweethearts. So tell me about this good time in the BED <laughs> for Pisces, please. 
Tell me about this good time for Pisces, sexual passion. Oops. I don't know if that was supposed to come out. Justice. Woo. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> this is like, you know, uh, Libra energy, truth, clarity, fairness, equal give and take in the bedroom. Like I'll sit and bound, check a wow, wow. Okay. You might even blindfold each other. <laughs> okay. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to dive into each of these areas. Tell me about dating someone new for Pisces. Oh, that was quick. Tell me about dating someone new for Pisces. Oh, geez, Louise, king of coins. Like I said, they could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising, okay? This person is stable. This person, sorry, got distracted. Someone just parked in front of my house. Um, This person is stable, grounded, generous, supportive. Um, this is a provider, abundant figure, okay? This is uh, almost to emperor, right? Wow, so <laughs> there's a lot of work here. Like I said, it could be a coworker or a boss or they have a very high position um, wherever they work. Uh, I'm getting happy hour, okay? You might meet them through a happy hour. Tell me about single, not in a relationship uh, for Pisces, please. They're single. They're not attached. Um, oh, and you, maybe you same. Tell me about Pisces. Oh, way too many cards. Tell me about single, not in a relationship for Pisces, please, Spirit. Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, you might actually be on a trip. I ju I'm just getting okay. Like exploring somewhere new. Uh, maybe if this job offer is in a different location, you're out exploring, and that's where you meet them. Maybe hiking, or at a bar, or dining, or something like that. Um, this person is very romantic. Okay, they're very uh, loving. Um, they follow their heart. Okay. So you got two nights here. Uh, so I feel like you have a new job opportunity and this new love offer. Okay. Let's dive into this. The emperor at the bottom of the deck, you guys, empress and emperor, just like I said. Oh my God, Jemma. this is incredible. Felt it. And here it is. Okay. Let's dive into this. Nine of Cups again and work. Eight of Pentacles, okay? Tell me about this transition, change, Knight of Coins for Pisces. Tell me about this, please, Spirit. What is this offer, this change? Oh, too many, sorry. What is this change coming in? It's co maybe coming after some sort of painful ending. For some of you that lost a job, you, don't worry, okay? You got a new opportunity coming in very quickly. Um, tell me about this change change coming in yeah three of pentacles i talked about collaboration teamwork in a work environment okay so it's like um maybe there's three of you teaming up and creating your own business maybe um or uh, um this could be considered an uh, apprenticeship, learning a new skill or trade in a work, or there could be, um, this is Capricorn energy, like I mentioned earlier, but um, this is growth, learning, mastery, okay? Getting the recognition you deserve on a project of some sort. Tell me more about this for Pisces, please. It, there's some sort of uh, shocking ending that happened in your life, mainly I'm getting um, the ending of a job. Uh, it fell out and you weren't seeing it coming, but you have something better. It's guiding you to something better. You could have been stuck in a real toxic environment that wasn't good for you, okay? Scorpionic energy. Tell me about this tower, please. Yeah, the tower, like I said, is bringing in this passionate new beginning. This this is tied to something you're very passionate about in a work sense, okay? This is a new opportunity, sweethearts. Tell me about this um, this sexy time. <laughs> we'll just call it that for Pisces. Sexy time for Pisces. Justice, again, that's twice. What in the heck? I don't think of that as sexy time, right? But it's equal give and take. Um, this person is very fair. This person wants to make you happy, right? Um, <laughs> okay, tell me more about this. 
sexy time. <laughs> Let's get it more of a, a sexy card, hopefully. Uh, tell me more. Could just represent they're a Libra. Uh, four of Swords is sexual healing. <laughs> I swear, I think Aquarius had this. Please go watch that, you guys. Uh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is sexual healing. Okay, let's move on. Tell me about dating, meeting someone new in the King of Pentacles for Pisces. Dating someone new, Page of Swords. This person could be watching you um, online or they see you and it's kind of like love at first sight. They may uh, buy you some wine or a drink or something like that. Um, you guys are going to have great conversation. This is someone new, okay? That's uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Tell me about this. Lovers, this is your person. This king of pentacles doesn't need to be their sun sign, but they have a very grounded, it's just the energy, um, giving, nurturing, supportive energy, very stable and abundant. This is your divine counterpart. Holy crap, you guys. Tell me about single. You're not going to be single for long. They're, they're headed towards you. You're a wish fulfillment. I feel like it's happening in airy season. We'll find out. Tell me about this Knight of Cups for Pisces. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Yeah, they wanted to come out. They're like, you don't really need the cards. They're walking towards you. It's coming in. Maybe even eight days from now, you guys. Wow. Wow. You are a wish fulfillment. They're being guided towards you. You guys are being guided towards each other, okay? It's coming after this massive change happens, okay? If that, this shocking change hasn't happened yet, it's coming and it's leading you to your person. So go for it. Go for it, guys. What are the love messages for Pisces? What are the love messages for Pisces, please? Sorry, it didn't fall out. I caught it. <laughs> I didn't even see what it was. Uh, what is the love messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? Wow, geez. Rekindle. Okay, some of you, this is an old flame returning, okay? That's not for everyone. Um, but for those of you that were dealing with someone that was dealing with someone else or in another commitment, and you had to just kind of leave it alone, they're coming after you. Okay, tell me what, it, what love messages do we have for Pisces, please, Spirit? You guys, it's going to be a, an incredible month. Didn't come out. There we go. That's how I like them to come out. Physical connection is off the chain, honey. <laughs> uh, it's a sacred union of bodies, two becoming one. Mind, body, and soul. Yep. Should we get one more? Yeah, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Uh, love messages for Pisces, please. Freedom. <laughs> They're freeing themselves from a past commitment, you know. They, they're they moving on. This is, uh, they're coming for you after they get free from something, okay? For sure. Okay, let's get uh, some advice. New dawn on the horizon. Good news is coming in for sure. Good news is coming in for Pisces. It didn't flip. Gifted um, for Pisces. What is the advice for Pisces, please? What is it? They're not flipping. What is the advice for Pisces? Oh, <laughs> it came out, you guys. New dawn. Okay, good news is coming. Hard times are over. Absolutely. Ah, I love that. Okay, when when is this coming in for Pisces? I forgot to look at the bottom of the deck. When is this coming in? In autumn. Some of you, could, it could be all the way up until autumn. Uh, getting settled into this new job and all of that. What, what for others, please, Spirit? What else? Or they? Uh, I just heard their birthday could be in autumn, in August. It didn't flip. They're not flipping. Come on, come on. Please like and subscribe, sugars, to help my channel grow. It means the world to me. I love you guys so much, and I thank you. Here we go. Very soon. It's gonna be shocking. Okay, it might be stormy out when it happens, but it's gonna catch you off guard. In a good way. Ah! I love you guys so much and I'll see you again soon. Happy birthday.